Hey, good evening and welcome to another video. This evening we're going to have a look at two items that came in the post today. One is the second filter. This is the FL431. This is the 3 kilohertz roofing filter. And more importantly, something I have been waiting on, this, which is the uh, UX9100. This is the 23 centimeter module for the IC9100. Um, the package consists of the module and a PC board, which is the IF interface board, uh, which mounts in the upper side of the IC9100, and a few connection cables. Um, it doesn't look too difficult to uh, install. Uh, it installs very much like the old 736R modules, and uh, basically slots in the back panel and screws down. So I'm going to take the covers off the IC9100 again, I'm going to install the uh, second roofing filter and um, then when I'm done with that uh, we'll put this little baby in and uh, see how uh, this installs and then I'll show you how the 23cm uh, module looks on the front panel. So I'll get the screwdriver out and you can join me in a second. Okay so here we are with the covers off again <laughs> and um, this is where the uh, 23 centimeter module fits. You can see there's a, a blanking plate in the back here for the antenna socket and uh, the four mounting points for the small PC board which I'll show you in a second and some uh, connection cables here uh, for the boards. Now, first thing that I'm going to do uh, and I'm not going to video it this time because I've done it in a separate video is uh, I'm going to put this uh, second uh, roofing filter in here. So um, I'll do that first and then we'll come back to this and I'll show you what the module looks like and also the uh, little interface board. Okay, so um, what uh, what comes in the box with the UX91 and 100? Well, obviously the module. Uh, you can see the module is quite thin. It's only um, an inch or so um, thick. Uh, one side's got this nice heat sink on. Um, there's uh, the antenna connection, of course. Um, there's a, a DC power cable at the other end, um, what probably is a control cable here, and uh, a small uh, small signal lead with a ground on it. And uh, that fits, uh, it's quite a um, chunky uh, die cast box with some um, shielding on the, uh, the bottom here. And um, to mount this in you uh, get um, a little bag of screws, this uh, bag of... Uh, cables, interconnection cables, and uh, the final piece of the puzzle is this little uh, interface card, which I'll just take out of here, and um, this little interface card is the uh, IF interface, uh, and that actually fits here on, uh, on this main board in here. So um, the instructions are laid out in the handbook, and um, I'm just going to refer to those now and then come back to you with the uh, the next step. All the option installs are actually in the manual uh, on page uh, 174 in this version which is chapter 16 which is option installs. Um, it tells you how to get the transceiver apart and uh, here you can see the uh, UX9100 installation details, installations, how to put the filters in and also the uh, UT121, the digital unit, this is the DSP unit. So here's how all the details, it's pretty much a case of uh, connecting the board in, uh, connecting the right cables in, and uh, screwing everything down. So um, I'm going to do the first part of this and then I'll uh, let you have a look at it. Now the board locates on um, two slugs, there's um, the little lugs here at the front and one at the back. and. Um, it's uh, basically um, not possible to um, get the board in the wrong way round. They are polarised so you can only go one way. And uh, the board mounts on uh, the four points uh, with the polarised pegs in there and then you actually screw that down. So um, that's the first bit I'm going to do and uh, I'll come back to you in a second again. Okay, that's the board securely down, and uh, the next thing to do is to connect up all of these DC cables and the signal cables, and also the uh, control cables and uh, signal cables and DC cable from the module. So I'm going to do that now, 
and uh, the diagram's well documented in the uh, manual as to which connector goes where, so you can't really get that wrong. Um, you will need the little bag of cables also. Uh, these control cables connect the uh, front panel um, to the uh, little IF board as well. Okay, I've gone handheld for a second to sh show you the um, IF board. And um, you can see here the, um, the two cables. These are the ones that are actually sitting inside the um, IC9100. You've got this one, uh, which is the longer of the two, uh, which goes to J12. Um, this shorter one, which is marked in white, uh, goes to J101. And then you've got these two smaller cables here. Um, the two smaller cables are uh, marked in blue and red. They're actually on, marked on the board on the front. And these connect to the front panel. Uh, there's two connectors here. They're a little bit fiddly, but you can actually manage them. So um, that's what that looks like. Um, I've just got this one uh, last cable um, to put in. So I'll put that in and show you where that goes. Okay, I... Um I'll just um, show you where this last cable goes. That final cable runs from the uh, IF board here down into a connector which is um, tucked away behind the uh, front panel here. That was probably the most um, difficult part and uh, probably the most fiddliest part. So that's the IF board with all the control cables and the um, IF cables or uh, signal cables all connected in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the um, uh, 23 centimeter module here. Um, you'll notice that it's got these uh, mountain lugs um, here and uh, in the back corners. So um, I'm going to put that in place now and just connect up the final pieces and then let you have a look and see what it looks like. Okay, here we are with the uh, module all screwed down, and there's uh, four screw points, one on each, uh, one on each corner. And um, the only other connection to the radio for this uh, module is there is a DC power line which actually connects in here. There's another little um, RF, RF jumpy here which goes onto this final point that's left on the board. There's this ribbon cable. Now this ribbon cable has to get wound up a little bit. And uh, one tiny little uh, jumper which goes in here. And uh, I've just tied it all the, um, all the cables up. Uh, you can see these um, nice uh, foil um, screening lumps, and there's actually one in the back there as well. And uh, you can see on the back panel now we now have the 23cm uh, uh, module RF connector. So that's it. So that's the board uh, all in place. Now what I'm going to do is uh, put the lids back on and uh, power it up. Okay, so here we are with the radio switched on and the module all installed. Um, the installation was pretty easy, to be honest. It wasn't uh, too difficult. And um, as long as you can handle a screwdriver and uh, can take your radio apart, uh, you should be uh, fine in actually um, installing it. Um, the module itself is uh, quite uh, reasonable in terms of price and um, quite a valuable addition to make this into a nice uh, multi-band multi-mode. Okay, and here we are with the, um, the screen all uh, wired up. As you can see there, um, the 1296 meg uh, module is uh, installed and working fine. And uh, the uh, thing you can do now is if you hit um, satellite button is that you can now start to uh, track the VFOs uh, on 1296. Uh, or you can do it in reverse. So uh, we'll do MODEL and uh, you're able to use that uh, on satellites too. So as you can see um, you can uh, select the uh, noise reduction and uh, you can put uh, all the different filters in uh, just the same way as you can on uh, on HF. This is quite a little handy function to, um, to look. There's a um, pop-up um, when you change the filter and you can turn this on or off inside the um, inside the software and menus. Um, if I go back to uh, to normal and uh, take the uh, satellite function off and um, the one thing to note again is that you can't put the roofing filters in on, uh, on uh, UHF you can select the different uh, bandwidths 
and uh, that's not a problem but you can't actually select the, um, the roofing filter size only if you go down to uh, HF and if you look at the HF here you can see that it says R15 which is the 15 kilohertz roofing filter and if I press F5 and hold it you'll see it changes to 6 and if I change it again it uh, changes to 3 kilohertz so uh, they're all uh, in and working and if I go back to um, uh, shortwave, uh, from shortwave back up to uh, UHF uh, you can see there uh, we've got the uh, 23 centimeter module all uh, all working nicely. So uh, that concludes the uh, 23 centimeter module uh, install. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it was useful if you're uh, interested in uh, putting one in but also maybe if you're looking at buying an IC9100 and actually wanted to see what it looks like. If you've got any comments then please put them on the uh, page here and if you've got any requests or anything you'd like to see about the IC9100 then uh, drop me a note and uh, I'll see what I can do. Thanks very much, enjoy your radio. Okay, just one additional shot. This is the um, front panel and you can see the panels uh, folded down. You can see the VFO encoder there. And um, this is very, very similar to the old Yaesu 736R. This is the control board. Actually, you can see where the uh, UT, uh, I think it's the 121, the, um, the D-Star module fits in, which uh, fits in uh, just in there, in that little hole. You can see it says UT141. So the, um, that's the main uh, front panel and the control unit. So as you can see, it's very, very nicely built and uh, very beautiful. And uh, certainly... Uh, an impressive, uh, an impressive build construction on this. Okay, just uh, one quick uh, clip here. Um, this is the other side of the radio with the top lid and the speaker taken off. And um, the top lid is a huge, big piece of uh, metal plate. Uh, in here, you can see the uh, front end circuitry, and uh, you can see these lovely, nice strip line. Um, inductors and then this is the uh, PA section again all very very nicely made and uh, very compact but uh, also quite uh, quite well engineered on this diecast uh, this diecast chassis so this is not probably not a um, picture you would normally see actually there is a um, a fuse that um, is uh, inside on the top section here in the PA and uh, could need uh, could need replacing and um, that's also mentioned in the uh, in the handbook so that's the uh, the inside of the uh, IC9100 from the top side